In today's Slitas tutorial, we're going to be working with the panel here on your desktop, manipulating it, adding stuff to it, perhaps moving it, or adding new ones. So basically here on our panel, we can right click and go up to panel settings. And you can see you have options of position. You can put it, bot it's at the bottom, top, left, right, left. That's a little weird. Okay, so oh, that's the left is for alignment, <laughs> center, <laughs> right. You can also change the width. Currently it's set to 100% so it will expand to the entire width of the desktop. Uh, icon size, appearance, you can change the color, give it a system theme. Right now it's pretty much transparent and the text, the font color is white. Add applets and advanced, we're not going to get, we're going to get into that in a little bit. But basically what I want to do now, I, first I want to warn you. Every time I've tried to move this panel to the top by clicking top, it uh, crashes the panel. Uh, the panel disappears and I can even refresh my desktop and it doesn't seem to come back up. So I would suggest currently not moving that. But if you want a panel at the top, we can add one. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say um, doo -doo -doo -doo, create new panel. And it automatically threw it up at the top there. So we have a blank panel up at the top there. and uh, once again, it goes to the percentage of desktop, but we can say dynamic, and that should resize it. Let's go percentage, we'll say 50. Let's see, 50. There we go, so we have one that's 50%. Uh, and I will go to appearance. I'll make it uh, transparent. You can also add an image in the background. Transparent, now, because we have the black background here, by default, our font color is black. We're going to want to change that to white because if we add something like a clock, so I'll make that white, then uh, you wouldn't be able to see the clock because it'd be black. So speaking of clocks, let's add a clock. We'll come here to panel applets. We'll say add, and I will add a digital clock. Add it. There it is. It's actually all the way to the left. If I actually, let's put this back at 100% to make things more viewable. So you can see it's at 100%. So the panel is now reaching the entire screen. And uh, actually, to make it more viewable, I'm just going to make it a little more there. So now you can see it, so you understand what's going on better. It's all the way over there. The clock automatically goes to the right. Let's add something else. We will add, um, let's add a volume control. Add. Huh. I don't know. Oh, because I don't have audio set up. That's why it's not showing up. I don't have an audio device in this virtual box. Uh, let's just add a menu. And if I click on that, you can see it's the same as the menu down here. Uh, there is a default icon for it. We can right click this and go menu settings and we can change the image. We can put whatever image we want there. Same with the one down here. I can right click this and go menu settings and it has a slits on menu but if you want to put something cool like tux the ping one you can change that image. Now let's say we want to switch spots. We want the menu to be to the left and the clock to be on the right. We can just move the order of these because these go from left to right. Top to bottom is left to right. So we'll click on the menu. I'll click up and you see menu is now first, so menu is on the left. But let's say we want the clock all the way to the right. We will add a spacer. Add. And we will put it between the two. And so there's a spacer there. It doesn't really show much. We click stretch, and it will stretch it all the way out. So now we can also add other stuff here. Let's see what else we can add. Uh, desktop pager. We already have one of those down here. But just for an example, I will add. Oh, let's add a directory menu. Add. So there's our directory menu. I can click on that. It gives us a little directory menu. Nice having it there. Once again, if I want someplace else, I just click on it and move it to wherever I want. But I think that's a good spot for it there. And if you decide you don't want something, you can always remove it by clicking remove. Uh, so that's pretty much all that. Let's have a look at this. Uh, preferred applications. I've talked about this in previous tutorials. Uh, PC uh, man file manager is a great file manager. It's the default one. We'll leave that. X terminal is the default terminal. Also great. If you want to add another one, you can change that in there. And basically, whenever you run a terminal, that would be your default one. Uh, logout command, that is your command to log out. Yeah, most users won't change stuff in this. More advanced users probably already know how to, so I'm not going to go into detail on that. But that is how you edit your panel. Once again, we can also. Uh, move, let's put this back at 
So now it's a little bit shorter there. But we can also justify it to the right. So it's over to the right there or to the left. And uh, you notice the bottom is grayed out because there's already a toolbar at the bottom there. Uh, we can make it horizontally, I'm sorry, horizontally, vertically. We can make it higher, which is being really weird right now. There we go. <laughs> so if you wanted a really big uh, panel, that is how you do that. Uh, icons didn't change size, that would be changed here. So I can make the icon bigger. And we'll make this 85. So there you go, if you wanted a big old panel, that's how you do that. And that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this series on Slitaz. And I hope you keep on watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.